It is a great day to be at the office. I am the office worker and I am here to help. Today we're going to talk about tabs. Tabs sometimes scares people because um, they don't quite understand it and so I thought I'm going to clear up the mystery and um, explain all about tabs to you to make your life a lot easier. So first things first, I have right here a list of equipment for an ice cream sundae place, a, a store. So I kind of left it all jumbled, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to separate it out. But I'm going to show you the difference between using tabs and not using tabs because some people think they don't need to use tabs and it'll line up just fine. Okay, first of all, yeah, it probably can line up sort of okay. Um, however, it's going to take you a whole lot longer and I'm going to show you that. So if I wanted to um, push this in a little bit, I'm going to use my space bar. I'll put it in 10 spaces. I'm going to do the same thing for each one. 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let me take off the italics so you can see a little better. Okay, well, that's not too bad, right? It's, it's somewhat lined up. Then the next section is right here. I'm going to separate that out. Now this side, I'm not sure how it's going to line up, so I'm just going to kind of push it out a little bit. And I'll line them up as I go. I'm just using my space bar again. All the way out. Hoping that it'll line up. Okay, not too bad so far. Again, taking a lot of time, but it is definitely sort of working. Okay, now this, I'm going to have what's called a dot leader, where it's just a bunch of dots that lead your eye from one tab stop to another. So now I'm going to use the period to create that. And again, I'm just going to push it out a little bit. Using my period here as my dollar sign. Pushing the dollar amount away. I'm going to line it up by decimal places. That's usually how it goes. Okay. Again, not too bad, right? It's sort of lining up. I'm eyeballing it, so it's not going to be perfect, but... Now that took a long time to do. I'm going to show you with a line. How this is not really lined up. Drew myself a line straight down. Okay. You see how it's not lined up? Actually, I should do that one for this side since we're lining up by decimal. Okay, it's right next to the nine. Not too bad on this one. This one's getting a little too close. This one's like right into the line, and this one's right smack dab in the middle of the four. So you see it's not really lined up. Let's move this over here and see what happens. I'll move it slightly next to it. There we go. Oh, this one's definitely not lined up. Okay, so eyeballing it? Hmm, not so great. This guy? This one's not too bad, actually. <laughs> but you see how much time that took. So let me show you how to do that. A little easier. So here, take with my italics again, what I have here is I have tabs already set up. Now you see, see all the little dots up here? Those are my, my space bar and these dots are the actual periods. But all these, sorry, all these and these are all using the space bar. Now down here in the second section I have arrows that's using my tab key. Now, I could use my tab key a bunch of times until everything lines up. That you could do. I could do that. Now that those are lined up. And those are lined up. But, um, again, it takes a little bit more time, but at least these are perfectly lined up. If I want to 
set it up and see now up here I can't really do a dot leader because I'm using tabs and it doesn't quite work. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Let me take away my little arrow so it's easy to see. You will highlight what you have typed with tabs in between each thing. Okay, You will come up excuse me, to your format menu way up top and click on tabs. That is going to bring up this lovely box right here. Okay, And we're going to set up three tabs. Okay, So right in this first box you put in where you want your tab to go. And I forgot, first of all, leave yours up. I forgot to put my ruler up so you can see what's happening. Alright, so I have my ruler. So, at the one inch mark is where I want to put my first one. I'm going to type a one. I don't have to do the inches. You can, but you don't have to do the little, the little inches mark. You don't have to do that. The alignment, you're going to say what kind of a tab stop you want. We want it to be left aligned so all the text will line up on the left side. Okay. The leader, remember that's a dot leader. There's different types. There's a dot, there's a dash, there's a line. We're not going to have any for this first tab. Default stops, that just means that by default there are tab stops every half an inch. You can see that the little gray line underneath the ruler, you'll see little tick marks every half an inch. Okay. <clears throat> the, you can change that if you feel that you constantly use tabs at a certain position. Maybe you like to have them every inch. You can change it. But right now I'm not going to touch that. Right now I'm setting up my tabs. Now because I'm going to do more than one, I'm going to click the plus sign, which puts it into this box, and now that tab is set. Now I don't see it up here in the ruler yet. We will once we go out of this box. The next one that I'm going to do is at 3.75, right around the middle. A little off to the side of the middle, but that's because there's a lot typed in that first section. Again, I'm going to do left align to line up all of our little codes here. No leader again. Plus, it puts it in the box. Last one I'm going to do is at 6 inches. Now, this one's going to be a little different because there's money here. We want to line it up by decimal. So I click my decimal, and we want to have a dot leader. We're going to do the actual little dots that look like the periods. Okay, and add puts it in the box. Now we're all done. We hit OK. Now if you look at your ruler, you'll see your three tab stops. That's those little black marks that you see on the ruler. And it has moved everything around. So now I'll show you. Our tab marks are still here, our arrows. There's still just one. I didn't like up here you see there's two, there's only one, but because we have the tab set at a certain place, it keeps it as one and just moves it to that location. Now if you, if you know without having to go into that tab box where you want things to be, you can highlight what you have and just click on the ruler. Now all the way to the left hand side here you will see one of the tab alignments. So this one is left, that is center, that is right aligned, and you have your um, decimal. Okay, You have a bar one which puts a bar in between and then back to left again. It kind of cycles through. So <clears throat> If I know where I want it to be, 3.75 isn't too hard to find. I can click, oops, I'm sorry, I forgot the first one was at 1. I can click right on the ruler to where I want the first one to be, and click where the second one's going to be, which I already did. Now, remember that last one was the dot leader. Now, that one is a little more tricky because you can't set that up this way, so I would have to go for a dot leader. If I didn't need a dot leader, I could just click the decimal and come over here to 6, and it will line it up still, just won't have the dot leader. That's okay. But if you want the dot leader, you have to go into Format, Tabs, and then select your dot leader. 
So if you did that, maybe you forgot, you can click on the one you wanted to make the dot leader, six inches, click on the dot, and click on add, and it fixes it. So now our six inches is a dot leader. Say okay, and there's our dots. Okay, so if you did that by accident, you know, that's okay. You don't have to start over. If you create a tab somewhere that you didn't want one, oops, made a mistake, that's okay. Easy to take off. You're going to come right on top of the tab, hold down your mouse button. You see that line? That means you have it. It's like you grabbed onto it. You're going to pull straight down off the ruler and let go. Now, it doesn't matter where you're at as long as you're off the ruler. Let go of your mouse and it throws it out. See, now it's gone. Okay, so once again, I go on top of it, hold down my mouse button, pull off the ruler, let go, it throws it out. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you what you can do if you wanted to set up your tabs before you start typing, because yes, you can do that. Okay, let's do our school store inventory. Okay, now we know that we're going to have two pieces of information. One is the actual item that the school store would sell, so your school supplies, and then the other being how much they cost. Okay, we want to have a dot leader in there. See, certain things we know. So we can play around with where it's going to be. We can set our first one up, maybe at the two. Oops, that's the wrong one. See, I already made a mistake. Let's pull that off. It's okay. I'm going to go to the correct one. Now I click on the two. That's where our school supplies will go. And then we know we want a dot leader, so once again, we have to go into here. And I could have done both of them in here. Here's our two. We'll do the other one at 5.5. Hmm, Sounds good. It'll be a decimal because we're working with money. And we'll do a different kind of dot leader this time, little dashes. We're going to add. Say OK. Now, look, you see nothing here because we haven't typed anything yet. OK? Here's our first tab. We're going to hit tab, jumps over to the two. OK? We're going to type in our first one, pencils. Now, watch what happens when I hit tab. It puts our dot leader in. OK? Then we're going to do our dollar sign. And we're going to sell pencils for 25 cents. Enter. Okay. Now you see my ruler. Nothing's changing. It's still there. Both my tabs. I hit my tab. Goes over to where pencils is. And let's sell pens as well. Hit tab. There's my dot leader. Dollar sign. Point thirty. Thirty cents. Okay. Student planners, because all students need a planner. Tab. There's my dot leader. It's not letting me down yet. Three dollars. That's not too bad. Now look, the decimal places line up, okay? And you would just keep typing however many things you wanted in your list. Whatever it is you want to have. And then of course you can always fix this. Be um, bold, maybe center it. Now, if you do that and you're like, oh my gosh, this looks ridiculous. It's way off to the side. What was I thinking? You can change that. Just highlight your text and you can either change it on the ruler directly because you'll see how it'll move or you can go back into your format tabs and change it that way. I'm going to do it on the ruler because you know how to go into format tabs and change it. I just showed you. But on the ruler, you can go onto the tab. Now remember I told you if you clicked and dragged off, it throws it out. We're not doing that. We just want to move it. So we're going to drag it. We're going to drag it over to the one. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, that looks a lot better. See? So maybe we'll leave it that way. But if we didn't like it, we can just play around with it. Click, drag, and it just moves it. As long as you don't pull it off the rule, you just have to be careful of that. Okay? That is all about tabs. Now, I can show you even what that bar looks like. If I go back into my tabs, I'm going to change this 5 1 
to be not a dot leader, but a bar. Oh, <laughs> that's because I, <laughs> hold on a second. Undo. Now, see, I told you that would be your best friend, that undo button. Okay. We cannot do it that way. We have to, we have to have a tab in between. Okay. Let's go back in. For my tabs, we will put one at the three. Make that a bar. Five, we're going to keep as a decimal, I think, but we won't have a dot leader. Okay. okay. Now we have to put our tab in there. Why is my three not showing up? What is your problem? There it is. Silly thing. Well, that's just insanity. All right, we'll put it in ourselves then. Boom, there's our bar. Eh, you know, that's kind of like when you do, we do columns and we have the line in between. It just separates it. But certain things you want your eye to follow from one place to another. So bar, in this case, probably doesn't make much sense. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Okay. Okay, so that, that's tabs. Leave a comment below for what you want to see done next. And um, click that like button if you like this. And don't forget to subscribe so you can see when the next video is coming. Thank you and have a great day.